Okay, I'll admit it. Since my 40th birthday, I have blamed just about everything on my metabolism. You know the drill. After your 40th birthday, that first hangover was a killer. And from then, the weight just seemed to sneak up, even though I was eating and drinking and exercising exactly the same as I had been for years. So for most of us, the logical reason is because our nasty little metabolism is slowing us down and it is not our fault. But despite most of us believing this to be true, the latest research that has come out from the Science Journal in 2021 has proven that we have been wrong and lied to all of this time. In fact, our metabolism barely changes from between the ages of 20 to 60. And then after the age of 60, it only decreases by around 0.7% per year. Nothing like what we thought, and it is something we can no longer blame. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reasons that our metabolism seems to have slowed down and why we are gaining weight, as well as some of the things that you can do to try to boost it and get back in control of your body. Whilst most of us, including myself, have always blamed a slower metabolism, the real reasons that we tend to put on weight as we age is basically because of the lifestyle that we live over 40, as well as the changes in our physical body. I have a video just up here that you can check out if you're interested about the latest science that tells us about the enormous changes that happen in our bodies at the ages of 44 and 60, which is fascinating. You often hear that sleep can make a big difference to weight gain. And as we age, we tend to have busier lives. We have children and careers and we tend not to sleep as well as we used to. This is due to decreases in melatonin within our bodies, which makes us more restless in our sleep. And when our body isn't rested, it doesn't function as well as it should, which leads to less activity, which leads to weight gain. Mitochondria is something that is being talked about a lot at the moment. This is basically a part of our cells that is responsible for our energy levels and what helps us get up and moving and exercise. And these do become less efficient as we age. We often find that this period is a very busy time, which often means that we don't get out and exercise or we try to shortcut things. You might go and order your groceries online or you buy takeaway or you buy those easy meals, which I love at least a couple of times a week on those hectic busy nights. However, every time we do this, we are moving our bodies less, which means we are burning less calories and not moving our bodies as much. We also find that by the end of the day, we're exhausted. So most of us do the old Netflix and chill or sit there and scroll through TikTok and Facebook and just relax. Where in your younger years, you may have gone out a few nights during the week, which meant you were up and out and being active. Another big thing is our changes in hormones. From the mid 40s, our hormones start to decrease for both men and women. And the effects our hormones have on our bodies and our cells mean that we burn less calories. We also, from our mid 40s onwards, begin to lose muscle mass naturally each year, which is why strength training is really important. Most people understand that muscle takes up less space than fat. It also burns a lot more calories at rest. So when you are losing muscle, all of a sudden, you're not burning as many calories as you did before at rest. And just 100 calories a day can add up to around an extra 11 pounds of fat. That's about five kilos. That's just 100 a day. If you start doing the maths, you can see why it creeps up on you. So let's not sit here and dwell in the doom and gloom of the second half of our life. This is what you can actually do to increase the metabolism. We'll just stick with that because that's what we're used to. But let's just talk about burning more calories and keeping that weight off. One of the big things, as I just mentioned, is strength training. Obviously, this is not only good for our bone density, which is something that else that reduces over the age of 40. But as I mentioned, every kilo of muscle is going to burn more fat. So not only are you going to look better and feel stronger, you are going to get that free calorie burn. 
We hear a lot in the press at the moment that we need to increase our proteins. Plenty of lean protein. Chicken breast is one of my favorites. I can barely resist bringing home a barbecue chicken and getting it from the car to the house. Even though you look at the calories of a protein meal, it is always actually going to be less than what is listed because your body uses a lot more energy in order to eat and process protein than it does carbs and fats. While something may say it's 200 calories, you may find that your body is only digesting 150 calories. Protein also helps you stay fuller for longer and helps you build muscle. So protein is definitely something that you need to add more of to your diet. H-I-I-T, that high intensity training that nobody wants to do. I sometimes throw in some kettlebells or some skipping just to mix up my routine. I walk every day and I try to, when the weather is good, hit the exercise park a few times a week. However, I'm not a burpee girl and I'm never going down that road. Sorry, I just, I can't do it. <laughs> no matter what fitness level I've been at in my life, I've never been able to do it. So I'll stick with skipping instead. <laughs> The good thing about HIIT training is that it is short and it is fast and it helps to burn a lot of calories fast and raise your metabolism, there we go, using that word again, for a longer period of time, even after a small 10 minute session. Something else that you should be thinking about all the time is drinking water. Water is great for every cell in our body, wonderful for our skin and keeps us hydrated. Good old ice water. You can actually burn more calories at drinking ice cold water because it takes a lot of energy for your body to turn cold water into a temperature that it can easily digest. So try to fill those cups with ice as often as possible. Cheers. You can also look at drinking green tea. Which is not only extremely healthy for you, full of antioxidants, but it burns calories. It just balances out for me because I always add honey. I just can't drink it straight, but I drink it because it is calming. On the nights I'm not drinking wine or I'm trying to do the right thing and get those antioxidants in. Other things that you need to be thinking about is really having good nutritious food. One of my favorite things to have for lunch every day is a smoothie. My everyday lunch homemade mango smoothies. This is a great easy way for food on the run as well as getting those extra nutrients in. Because I work from home, I usually have mine sitting outside in the afternoon, which is the time that I try to get in my vitamin D, which is great for your bones and your immune system. Most people are vitamin D deficient without knowing it. So make sure that you get your 10 minutes of sunshine every day. We should also be thinking about trying to reduce our stress because our stress can increase our cortisol levels, which has been proven to have a negative effect on belly fat, which tends to accumulate quite easily over 40s, particularly when those hormones start to get messed up. So look at trying to improve your sleep and look at things such as Pilates and yoga or finding ways just to chillax. Overall, it is a numbers game. It is not your metabolism. You need to work out what your average calorie needs are for the day and try to stick as close to that as you can. As we know, there are 7,000 calories in a kilo of fat. When you start reducing your calories by one to 300 a day, or just making sure they don't blow out by one to 300 a day, these are the kind of mathematical changes that can add up or make things easier for you. So really try to take this into consideration every single day. The biggest way that I keep my weight under control is walking every day. And I have a bunch of videos that you can check out all about reaching that 10,000 steps.